Hi, my name is Randy and I have a 1993 Chevy half ton Silverado for sale. Thought I'd make a little YouTube video and do a little test drive, walk around, let you see the truck. It it has some it had some rust that was cut away. These almost look like dents from a distance. But it's actually been just cut away. There's a few, there are a couple of dents here and there and a little bit of uh, paint fading. I'm actually a small car dealer. I buy and sell cars. This was a new car trade-in at Fletcher Auto Group up in Northwest Arkansas. When I sell this truck, I'm going to keep the uh, toolbox. I've got another truck I need to put it in. So the toolbox does not come with it. The um, ball hitch does not come with it. It, has, it come out of Missouri. Uh, Fletcher is right on the borderline of Missouri and uh, Arkansas. It has aftermarket tail lights. Got the, uh, I believe it's got the 5.7 motor in it. it. Has factory stereo. Across the river valley. Uh, the air does not blow cold, but I don't know if it just needs to be charged. And back when this came out, it was came out with R12, and the 134A is what's in it now, or what? It's got a conversion kit on it, but. Anyway, it um, it may just need to be charged. I we haven't messed with it at all. It has power windows. Uh, both of the windows do work. Let my camera get focused in here, and we'll take this on a little test drive. That's 1520, 2530. That's 3540. That's 50. There it shifted through all the gears. It's an overdrive now. I'm practically going 55. I'm in a small town right now, so I can't really go too fast. But I drove this on the interstate just recently. Took it on a two and a half hour trip. I even had a small trailer hooked up to it. Um, it does great. It, it runs and drives really well. I would drive it anywhere. Uh, no overheating, anything like that. Um, it did have an oil leak, had a valve cover gasket leak. We were going to replace it, but the, the valve cover gasket was finger tight. I don't know if somebody started to change it or what, but we tightened it up and the oil leak stopped. So Anyway, um, I'm located, I've got two locations. Uh, we have one car lot in Danville, Arkansas, and that's where I'm shooting this video. I have another car lot in... Um, uh, next to Blue Mountain Lake, uh, which is halfway between Boonville and Danville on Highway 10. Uh, so depending on where you're coming from, we can uh, try to let you try to get it at that location for you to see it. But um, <clears throat> anyway, that's the truck. If you're interested in looking at it, just give us a call, text message.